Hey everybody, what's good? Dave here. Today I want to show you guys how to get rid of annoying high pitch frequencies from your audio. That might be a truck backing up. It might be a message ping. It might be some awful screeching noise. But cleaning up those recordings is a lot easier than you think. Josh actually sent a sample through. I don't know about this one, Dave. This may be a tutorial where you have to end it by saying, sorry guys, this is actually impossible. He doesn't believe me. He doesn't think it's possible, but I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to do. I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. First in Audition, because I know most of you have access to Audition. And I'm going to show you my preferred way in RX by Isotope, which is a very surgical audio only kind of program. So let's jump straight in. And I'll show you guys how to do that. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find where our file is. Right click and open with Adobe Audition. What this is going to show us is the normal waveform that we're used to seeing. But the only information a waveform gives us is how loud a signal is. So we're going to go up here and enable the spectral frequency view. And what we can see here is all these colors. What these tell us is the brighter the color is, the louder that frequency is. So as we see here, that frequency is super bright, which tells me it's some kind of noise. It's something in the background. So we're going to listen to it. And that's where the beep is. I'm going to come up here and select the marquee tool and I'm going to just select that frequency. So what I'm doing is I'm just isolating that frequency. And what we can hear there is just a beep. We're going to try to remove that. We're going to come up to our effects, noise reduction, and then noise reduction process. Next, you want to capture noise print. So what that's going to do is going to analyze what we've got selected and it's going to start reducing that. So if I listen to my sample as it is now, end it by saying, Sorry guys, this is actually impossible. So already it's done a great job. If I listen to it without the effect. To end it by saying, sorry guys. I can hear that beeping sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this to our recording. And then if I go back, I still hear some of that buzzing. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. So that's what I'm going to focus on next. I'm going to select all those frequencies and repeat that same process. Up to effects, noise reduction and then capture that noise print. And now I've got a lot more information here because it's accounting for the background noise. So we're gonna reduce some of that background noise, but you never wanna take all the background noise out because it sounds a bit weird if you've just got like a black hole in the background. So you need some of that room towing in. So we're gonna experiment with that. This is what it sounds like with the effect enabled. Where you have to end it by saying, sorry guys, this is actually impossible. So that sounds really good. So I'm gonna apply that effect to there. So this is what it sounds like. A tutorial where you have to end it by saying, sorry guys, this is actually impossible. So that sounds really good. If you're wearing headphones, you could probably tell there's still some buzzing and background noise. So we can repeat that process a bit more. Now, if you repeat it too much, the audio starts degrading. So you have to kind of watch how much you do it. Before we continue, this video is brought to you by the 360 Kinetic Transitions Pack. It's a pack I use for pretty much every video I make. With over 400 sound effects, professionally treated, mixed, and mastered. Just drag and drop them on any software you use and just take those videos to the next level. They're compatible with any software and they come with an unlimited license. So use them forever. Use them as much as you want. Links in the description. Let's get back to the video. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do this in RX by Isotope, which is a specific audio cleanup program and i'll show you guys why this is my preferred way of doing it again we're going to go to our file right click and then open with isotope rx8 audio editor and we see the same thing we see the spectral view we see the brighter parts of the audio but the cool thing about this is there's a magic wand tool just like photoshop so i select the magic wand tool i go and select my frequency and just like that i've selected that exact problematic frequency if i want to listen back to it so that's what I've selected. The cool thing is if I double click on that, that's going to select all the overtones or harmonics, which is pretty impossible to do. And it would be really tedious to do it manually. So if I listen back to what I've selected, as you can hear, I can hear some of that whistling, some of those high frequencies in my selection. Then I'm going to go into spectral denoise, one of the plugins, and I'm going to do the same exact thing as before. I'm going to profile that sound and right here, it's showing me the frequencies that I've selected and using the reduction and threshold. I can be very precise on to how much I want to reduce those frequencies. So as you can see, reduction takes loads of those frequencies out and then threshold tells them when to stop taking those frequencies out. My suggestion is don't go crazy and just run that plugin 
a few times on a lower setting. So that setting right there, let's just preview it and see what it's doing. Or where you have to end it by saying, sorry guys, this is actually impossible. So I can still hear Josh's voice very clear. I'm gonna run this plugin once and see what it gives me. Right there, I can still see that we've got some frequencies I wanna take out. Again, I'm gonna use my magic wand, select, double click, get those harmonics and overtones selected, learn, and we'll listen back to what it would be doing. A tutorial where you have to end it by saying, sorry guys, this is actually impossible. And just like that, it's taking those frequencies out. I'm gonna render that audio. If I listen back to it. To end it by saying, sorry guys, this is actually impossible. It's taking that beeping noise out. And if I wanna go further, I can select the gap right there and take some of that background noise out. So we've got a lot more information here and let's listen back to it. Or you have to end it by saying, sorry guys, this is actually impossible. That sounds great. So I'm gonna render that audio. Or where you have to end it by saying, sorry guys, this is actually impossible. And just like that, I've cleaned up my audio. Another thing I do in RX because I can is use the mouth de-click and take some of those mouth clicky noises out. Render that bad boy. And it takes 74 clicks out. So this is what the audio sounds like after it's been cleaned up. A tutorial where you have to end it by saying, sorry guys, this is actually impossible. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna compare those two audio clips here. No, about this one, Dave. This may be a tutorial where you have to end it by saying, Sorry guys, this is actually impossible. I don't know about this one, Dave. This may be a tutorial where you have to end it by saying, sorry guys, this is actually impossible. So yeah, that's it guys. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments. If you wanna say hi to me personally, I mostly hang out on Instagram. So Dave the Greco is the handle. So come and say hi there. We're gonna make this audio sample available for you guys to download it and experiment taking that beeping noise out using Audition or RX. Until next time, take care guys, peace.